Hi, this is Isaac from QuickKey, and today I'm going to show you how to use our brand new student import feature, which makes it way easier to import all of your students and even create and assign uh, students to classes. So without further ado, let's check it out. First step is to sign in. If you haven't created a, uh, a QuickKey account yet, you can do that at quickkeyapp.com. So you want to click sign in on quickkeyapp.com and you'll be taken to your dashboard. Here we're focusing on students, so we're going to go over to the students tab. You can see I don't have any students entered yet. Uh, there are three uh, functions you can do here. One is the quick add, which uh, should be familiar to anybody who's used QuickKey in the past. Another new feature is export CSV, which lets you create an Excel uh, file of all your students, which I'll show you after this. But we're here going to do the import student list. So we click on that and we browse for our file. Uh, you know, here it is, class list. Uh, CSV might be a file format that you haven't used uh, before, but it's actually really easy. You just go to the Excel file that has your class list, and you click on Save As, and then choose .csv. There's nothing else you need to do. Um, no matter what uh, order your rows are in Excel, our mapper will, uh, will help you map it to our system. So. First here you see it, it's showing now examples of some of the cell contents from my CSV file. And it's asking if my CSV file has headers. If, uh, if there are column headers in your Excel table, they'll show up in the import and you can tell our mapper that, uh, that it does have headers. In my case, my Excel file did have headers. You can see them here, first name, last name, email. So I click that and that grays them out so it won't import those. And then you want to click from the drop down list here. If, if these were all the last names here in the first column, I would choose last name. And now every, every uh, cell from this column would be mapped to the last name on QuickKey. But actually these are first names. So you can do that for each column. All right. Ah, but here it's wrong, right? Uh, here it's saying, uh, do you want to map this column to external ID? But actually, those are clearly classes. So, of course, so here we're going to assign this column to be the course or class column. And then this column is going to be the external ID. And uh, you can see on my header row, I had written school issued ID. So now, uh, you know, these two here were reversed, but we've gotten them mapped to the going to the appropriate place. So let's import our students. Now here if there are any duplicates or uh, anything like that then um, then some errors will show up so you do want to make sure that all of your students were imported. So let's view. Okay, there are all of our students and as you can see, you know, I don't, I didn't show you this, but I hadn't created Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Trig uh, before this. So these classes here were actually created when we did our import. And you can see all of the names are here. Uh, the quick key ID is automatically assigned. There's the external ID, there's the email, and there's their course. And we can click on Trig here, and now we can see all of the students from that import that um, that had the uh, trig uh, class name in their row are now members of the trig class automatically. So that's pretty cool. And uh, if there is anybody that we wanted to uh, edit, for example, we click the edit student over here. And we can change anything we want if we need to change because this number was wrong. We can do that. And we can also assign them to other classes. And so, so anyway, that is how to use the new import student list feature. And uh, real quickly, I'll show you this. Export CSV. And boom, there you go. First name, last name, email, external ID, and quickie ID. And now uh, you can post this uh, for your students.
so they uh, can always know what their quickie ID is. So there you have it. Um, that's how to use the import student list function. Uh, hope you enjoy it, and uh, please let us know uh, anything that we can do to improve the software. Uh, we appreciate your feedback, and uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.